lazy body so this is the third and final part of our tutorial series loading of ajax data based on page scroll down movement okay and we'll start from where we left on the last part okay so first thing i'm going to do is remove this alert message here and then i'm going to create a function called load data okay and this function takes two arguments first argument will be records per page and the second one will be start okay and inside that we are going to have a jquery ajax call okay and the first parameter we need is url the url is going to be ajax underscore data dot php and the next thing is type we are going to use get method to get the data okay and then we are going to post the get data itself using an array and that will be records per page and we'll assign the variable records per page for that next thing is start and we'll assign the variable start okay and after that data type will get the data back in json format okay and before the ajax call is made we are going to execute before send function to display a simple message in our product div okay and that will be products dot append we are just going to append some message in our product div okay not a big deal span class got load okay and the message is going to be loading then we will close the span okay so that is all we need and when this ajax call is completed we we'll, we had to remove this function okay i mean we had to remove this message loading okay and that we'll do by just removing this class okay load dot remove so that will work for that and the next thing is the actual response when our ajax call is a success it will be in this variable response ok so now we had to create this file ajax underscore data dot php right so let's do that now ok and if you look here we are using get method to access this file right so we had to first thing we had to make sure is we are receiving these two get data ok we will do that by using if i set get and what is that records per page right we will be using records per page we will see whether it is set and we have one more get data right and that will be sorry this will be start right ok now we had to perform some database operation here and to do that we need to initialize the database first right so i am not going to type that part now because we already made that here in our previous video for row count dot php right so this is the part which will connect to database that will copy from here ok that looks ok now we have to write our sql query here right and that will be select star from 
products order by product ID and I want the recent data to be displayed first so we'll put that in the descending order and limit will be start right start variable will be the place where record actually starts and the limit number of records will be records per page okay records per page okay I didn't put quotes here okay now we had to do our actual query right we had to execute that I'll copy catch from here and I'll declare a variable here result and then assign that to the query here okay so it will be SQL right we have the query in SQL next thing we had to do is had to fetch the result we are going to fetch using an associate URA okay it is fetch all method and this will be PDO fetch underscore associate okay now the result will be in rows right I'm going to just JSON encode this part and then we'll echo this okay so we can test this out separately if you want let's try that it's ajax underscore data okay we have here records per pages 9 and start equal to 0 okay we didn't get anything so let's see what went wrong all right guys I figured the problem actually forgot to spell this properly start right and another thing is uh, we are using the start variable here right start and records per page but we really haven't assigned that to any this get data has to be assigned to the specific variable right so I'll do like records per page equal to okay now we assigned that right and for start variable we'll be using start right okay now what we did is first we made sure uh, both the get variables are available and then we are initializing our database right then we are signing the values get values in variables and now we are using that in our SQL query here start and records per page should work now we'll test this again okay okay so now we got the data in JSON format right now we had to test this in our front end here we'll have the data in response right so we'll check that here okay console.log response and we had to call this function right we're using the function here but we had to call that load data I'll copy from here all right so let's test this now okay I think there is some problem again let me check all right guys I figured the problem here I forgot to see here I really apologize for this okay you can see here loading status coming and we have here console right if you look here we have multiple objects and each object got everything from database right product ID image name and price so next thing we had to do is manipulate this part so I'm going to just use a loop statement here okay to get that so the way we are going to do this is by response 
dot each function index of um, and we will append this okay the products div products dot append and we will just do for one field ok response index dot we will use product name here like name we will see whether we are getting anything in our page here alright we got all around 9 products here right now we just have to format them properly I am going to copy and paste something but don't worry about that guys because I will be you know what explaining to you it's a simple thing okay just some bunch of HTML alright guys I copied some contents here you can see here it's nothing uh, inside we are appending inside products div right inside that I am having a div when name product and then I have three more div inside that that is product name product image and price and I am using concatenation to use this variable ok response dot product name inside product name div and then you can see here for product image I am using response dot product image right likewise for price as well so it's basic we have all the layout for this in our style.css file ok so this is it and we'll see whether it's working or not all right guys we got everything perfect now right we have initial nine products loaded here and if you look here we are getting product image here right but I am mentioning the path here if you can see here src equal to img slash remember remember we saved all the products in img folder ok so you have to make sure uh, you have all the stuffs here ok this is important so the next step now is to make our data scrollable right when we scroll we have to load more content so let's do that now ok so what I am going to do now is we look here in the top we set the current page to 1 right in the page load we are going to get this thing displayed first 9 products right now I am going to increment this current page to 2 ok so outside this function I will put current page equal to 2 and now we are going to use window dot scroll function ok window dot scroll function and inside this uh, we are going to use scroll top function ok which is I believe a jQuery function not sure so it's going to be window scroll top ok window dot inner height equal to document dot height ok so the way this work is if this window dot scroll top and window dot inner height added together is equal to document dot height which means our scroll down reach to the bottom of the page ok that is what it explains nothing else so the next step we had to do is to recalculate this start value here ok we have here some calculation for start right start record and that is based on this current page and records per page but now the current page is 2 right so we had to recalculate that and that is simple we just had to copy and paste this inside this function ok 
we already assigned current page equal to 2 this time and now we had to all we had to do is just load the data right load data I will copy from here this function but we have a problem here doing so because uh, on the next crawl we had to increment this current page right so this current page I'm going to do plus plus it has to increment but problem is when the current page goes beyond the total number of pages we need right then we are we have serious problem here we need to make sure the current page is always less than or equal to number of pages right we have here number of pages uh, in our case it is three it depends on the size of our record right but this current page should never go beyond this number of pages so the way we are going to do that is by using if condition ok we will wrap this these two things inside that I will put something like if current page less than or equal to number of pages then we will be loading this function right so if when the current page goes beyond the total number of pages we are not going to get inside this in if condition which means this load data is never going to execute after that and there is no ajax call after that right so let's test this now okay, we have initial set of 9 images right 9 products and scroll now and we got more products loaded 9 more right I'll do once again and yeah we got all the 20 cent products and beyond that it's not working right so guys uh, let me explain to you this whole thing once again okay first thing we are going we are doing here is to get the total number of records in our page using this row count okay we wrote that function here we just returns this row count function and we are getting the row count here which we are assigning here in our total records variable right then we are setting records per page 9 then we are calculating number of pages with this formula right and then we are initially we are setting the current page to 1 and we are calculating the start record here then we are writing ajax call with this start and records per page to set the limit ok and we are using ajax underscore data server side uh, ajax underscore data dot php just returns all the you know results in JSON format right we are using fetch associate all arrays then we are just encoding them so that is received here in response text right and then this response text in turn loads all the data by appending to products table now after that the current page is incremented to 2 and when we do this windows scroll down function and when this page scroll reaches to the bottom of the page we are recalculating this start record again right and we are making sure this current page is never going beyond the number of pages so we are lo again loading this load data function which will load this ajax data again so it will keep appending till all the records are displayed right so guys this the end of this tutorial series I hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial effort ok and if you guys like our video Please support us by liking this video and also by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for your time. We'll see you guys in the next video.